glucocorticoids as dexamethasone, methylprednisolone, and prednisolone cause increase in the white blood cells count. And the major type of leukocytes that increase after the administration are neutrophils. There are three major mechanisms involved in increase in white blood cells count. is the margination of neutrophils from the endothelial cells of blood vessels, delayed apoptosis and increase in the release of neutrophils from the bone marrow. The major mechanism is demargination. The demargination of neutrophils makes up approximately 61% of the increase in white blood cells count. To explain this, we have to know that in the circulation, neutrophils are localized in two major compartments. They can move in the blood vessel with fluid flow along with other cells. Such neutrophils are localized directly in the circulation, so it's circulating compartment. Or they can move in the blood vessel attached to the endothelium of the blood vessel wall. It's called marginal compartment. This marginal neutrophils movement is possible only because both bands and segmented forms of neutrophils have on the surface specific adhesion molecules called L-selectins. We can imagine L-selectins as a glue, because when neutrophils in the blood vessel come in contact with endothelium, neutrophils are able to attach to endothelium exactly by L-selectins. And neutrophils that are attached to the endothelium form this marginal compartment. What we have to know is that as neutrophil rolls along the surface of the blood vessel wall, L-selectins on its surface are constantly degraded and synthesized again. So for margination, neutrophils have to constantly produce new L-selectins to replace the degraded L-selectins. This distribution of neutrophils is very high yield to know because in blood analysis we don't see neutrophils that travel along the blood vessel wall in marginal compartment. So blood analysis just tells us about the neutrophils that are localized directly in the circulation. And the glucocorticoids cause the margination of neutrophils by inhibition of L selectins. To explain this, when glucocorticoids decrease the synthesis of L selectins, the degradation of L selectins will prevail over their production. This causes progressive decrease in the amount of L selectin molecules on the neutrophil surface, and eventually the amount of L selectins becomes so small that it will not be sufficient to keep neutrophils attached to the endothelial surface of the blood vessel wall. And at this point, neutrophil detached from the endothelial surface and is going back into the circulation. This process called demargination. Also, high yield to know that this demargination also occurs after injection of epinephrine and with intense physical exercises. And as we see, it does not increase the quantity of neutrophils. It just causes redistribution of neutrophils from the blood vessel wall into the circulation. And because of that, in blood analysis we will see rise in white blood cells count, particularly in neutrophils, but in mature form of neutrophils, because they are not synthesized, they just detach from the blood vessel wall and appear in the circulation. Glucocorticoids also suppress apoptosis of neutrophils, and this markedly increases their survival. For example, dexamethasone more than doubles the half-life of neutrophils in the circulation. So their half-life in the circulation increased, and obviously with prolongation of their half-life, their quantity will increase. And important that it will cause increase only in mature segmented forms of neutrophils. This effect is relatively strong and makes up approximately 29% of the total increase in white blood cells count. Also, glucocorticoids stimulate bone marrow to release neutrophils. Recall that neutrophils population in the bone marrow can be subdivided into three pools. The stem cell pool, the mitotic pool, and the postmitotic pool. The stem cell pool consists of stem cells. Mitotic pool consists of granulocyte monocyte progenitor cells that are undergoing proliferation and differentiation. And postmitotic pool consists of fully differentiated neutrophils. It's metamyocytes and myocytes, so-called bands. The postmitotic pool is basically the bone marrow reserve that is available for the release with stimulation in any moment of time. And glucocorticoids serve exactly as a stimulus for their release. And the important that bone marrow release non-segmented neutrophils, so-called bands. So as we look at this, it resembles immune response to infection. But important that glucocorticoid stimulation is weak and it makes only 10% of the total increase in white blood cells count. In contrast to this, infection is a very strong stimulus. It causes significant increase in bands, so-called left shift. 
So it's important to know that glucocorticoids cause only small increase in band forms of neutrophils. Overall, after the intake of glucocorticoids, leukocytosis reached maximum values in most cases within two weeks, after the which the white blood cells count begin to decrease. Also important feature is that glucocorticoids cause increase in mature forms of neutrophils, predominantly in segmented forms and to a lesser extent in bands. In contrast to this, infection causes substantial increase in immature forms of neutrophils, its unsegmented and bands forms of neutrophils, a condition known as left shift. And in contrast to infection, glucocorticoid-induced leukocytosis is not associated with increase in temperature.